Mother knew how to make do, and many times she went without so that we might have. I can't get a witness anywhere in the church. She made do, you've heard this expression before, with a jar of Vaseline petroleum jelly. She would grease you down, grease you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet so you wouldn't be ashy. I don't know what it was it isn't about Ash and, and us, but you know, they just, you couldn't, in my era, Ash was like, you couldn't ever be Ash. Come over here, let me get, get some grease on you. You're Ashy. And then that same grease, they would take a little handkerchief and they would shine our little Buster Brown shoes. I can't hear anybody today. And that same jar of grease, I mean, before we were elevated to uh, Bergamont and, uh, you know, all that other stuff and, you know, and, and Afro Sheen and all that other, that same grease she used on our sisters to brush their hair and get the back of that kitchen back up in there and get it all pushed up and somehow make a, make a ponytail that was so tight it looked like they had a facelift. She made do. The widow at Zarephath made do with oil, a little oil and a little flour and a little water, and she made do. So for every mother going through right now, I want you to know that you have what it takes to make it through. God has given you a special anointing to make it through. Some of us have left, but you have been anointed to make it happen, and we reverence you today because you made do with what you had. Sometimes up, sometimes down sometimes almost level to the ground, but you may do.